What a turnaround it was in West Lafayette. Jeff Brom in his first year not only got Purdue to a bowl game, but a winning record as well, 7-6. and six. A big reason for that was the defense. The defense had a major overhaul. They turned things around, going from being one of the worst scoring defenses in the country to being one of the best. Last season, 22nd in scoring D, giving up just 20.5 points per contest. That's right, 20.5. Incredible. But they have to replace seven of the 11 starters from last year's terrific D, but at least you get back on the defensive side. You get back Lorenzo Neal at D end. Middle linebacker, the very talented Marcus Bailey is back, 89 stops. And both safeties are back, including the hero of last year's bowl win over Arizona, Jacob Fiedemann. He had the game-winning pick. You get him back at strong safety. Plus, you get the free safety back, but you have to replace both corners. So can Purdue's defense be good? Yeah. Can they be just as good? That's going to be the big mystery. Now, offensively, nothing really special. In fact, the 2016 Boilermakers, who were terrible, had more points per game than last year's Purdue offense. But you get both quarterbacks back. And you're hopeful, uh, as a Bullermaker fan, that they're both healthy. Both had injury problems last year, and that uh, definitely included um, the likes of um, Elijah Sandilar, who had to play the latter part of the season with a torn ACL. David Blaw played most of the season, but in early November succumbed to a d dislocated ankle. So both have had major injuries to deal with. The running game... Plenty of experience there, and it looks like Markel Jones will get the bulk of the carries, but don't forget about DJ Knox as well. Big thing for Purdue is finding a deep threat now that Gregory Phillips is no longer there. So you do have uh, Jackson Amthrop, who's a good high percentage type of receiver. He'll get the short passes, but they need somebody deep to help out that attack. All the offensive linemen are back for Purdue except for the right guard. So the Boilermaker offense, I would expect better things from him this season. Looking at the schedule for the Boilermakers, all the non-conference games are at home. And, by the way, the conference opener is the first game of the year, as we documented earlier, against Northwestern. That's the early September game, and it's going to be real good news for Purdue if Clayton Thorson, the Northwestern quarterback, does not play. That is still iffy because of the ACL that he had last season. But the schedule... When I look at it, second half of the schedule looks much tougher than the first, with Ohio State and Michigan State on it back-to-back, -back, and Iowa right after that. And, of course, Wisconsin will be on the second half of that schedule as well. So Purdue, I do believe that they will once again go to a bowl game, and they will probably win a game you're not expecting them to, but they could very well lose a game that you're not expecting them to either. I've got Purdue finishing third in the Big Ten West. I was leader of the team for about a week. My specialty was the quarterback sneak. I was sacked and attacked my back for